I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales and welcome aboard Daybreak. Daybreak is a 2015 Bruckman Abaco 40. She's very well equipped with Garmin Electronics, progressive bow and stern thruster, and only 625 hours on her Cummins diesel engine. This boat has always been stored in indoor storage at the same boat yard up here in Maine. And I'm very excited to take you on this walkthrough tour. So let's go take a look around the boat. All right, so starting our walkthrough down here on the ground level, taking a look at Daybreak. She's got this beautiful grayish green paint job. Very unique with the white boot stripe and the black bottom. Good looking there. The Abaco 40 is a single diesel boat. We've got a keel here, protected running gear and rudder. She's also got a bow and stern thruster, side power or Sleipner, progressive thrusters. She's really easy to navigate around the dock. Here on the swim platform, we have a really simple tender situation here. So we've got our teak chocks fore and aft and a roller slides into that stainless steel piece there at the end. You just pull the dinghy up uh, from the side of the boat. It's really simple. I also really like these oversized stainless steel hand handrails here for getting out of the water off the swim platform. So taking a peek here, we've got our aft transom entry door makes for very easy access to the boat on and off the dock. In this compartment here, I can't open it because of how tight we got the boats in here, but um, in this compartment is access to the stern thruster motor and bilge pump. And coming into the cockpit, we have a ton of entertaining space here. You can comfortably fit probably seven people back here in the cockpit, just on the molded seats alone, and plenty of room for um, loose table and extra chairs. There's storage under all these. There is, you'll hear me talk about storage quite a bit on this walkthrough tour, but the we've got storage under every single seat pretty much on the boat. So really nice, easy access to everything here. Um, and center line, I have big deck locker. So plenty of space down here for any of your toys. We've got the running gear, um, but these days everybody's doing stand up paddle boards, the inflatable ones. Um, I mean, you could almost fit a full size bike down there. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty big. So really nice access there. And before we go inside, we'll take a quick walk uh, around the outside of the boat here. So on the starboard side, we have we have steps on each side that are the seats, but on this side, really clever, um, just this flips right over, and then I can step right up onto the side deck. And I've got full hand holds, stainless steel handrail here outboard, and then a handhold up on top of the cabin top. So I've got really easy walk arounds. I'm not shimmying down the side of the boat, so Mobility wise, this is a simple boat to get around. Really nice. And we even have the handrails on the cabin top here. The teak, just on their maintenance coats this year, looks incredible. Really nice job here. We're in this beautiful indoor uh, heated storage bay up here in Harpswell, Maine. Uh, up forward, we've got a CQR anchor, stainless steel anchor roller the Lumar stainless steel windlass. We've got our up and down foot pedals as well as a washdown. You can see our molded, uh, or not molded, but inlaid fair leads and stainless steel cleat. And this uh, looks like a Durade, but that is actually the, you're able to plug in if you're bow into your slip or, or the power pedestals closer to your bow, you can actually plug in um, this boat to shore power up here on the bow. So the short power cord goes you know, through the fair lead into this, and then it goes down into the anchor locker and there's a uh, short power hookup there in the anchor locker, which is a really clever thing. We're not always able to back into a slip or plug in on the stern of the boat. Taking a look up top, we've got the horn, our nav lights, the Garmin enclosed array radar, 
VHF antenna, and then we've got the two cabin top vents there. Plenty of ventilation on this boat. You can see we've got the galley head and then the two for the forward stateroom, letting a lot of natural light down below. Walkthrough be a little dark, obviously we're in this building, but um, best we can do considering. So we do have her plugged in here aft. We've got fusion speakers back here in the cockpit. And coming into the salon, we've got the big, deep L-shaped settee here to port. Storage underneath all these. And then to starboard, we've got the two-seater love seat bench. Um, and then love this little sort of entry cabinet here. Allows me, us to keep uh, loose gear up here, keys and whatnot. I've got the Fusion uh, Bluetooth radio. And then right down below, it's a nice storage locker and some custom wine and liquor bottle storage there. Pretty sweet. Uh, this table drops down. You can have a filler piece here to make this into a pretty decent sized. It's not quite a queen size berth, but probably a full. If you pull out those back cushions, really nice uh, place to sleep. I used to run uh, Bruckman Abaco 40 for an owner down in Florida and then up here in New England as well. And uh, so can personally attest to the seaworthiness of the Mark Ellis designed hull on this boat and the Abaco 40 in general. Really nice boat to spend some time on. I've personally slept on this settee up here. We've got twin stid seats, uh, co-pilot seat over here to port, and of course our helm seat to starboard. Um, these are the best you can get. Um, nice little cubby storage here. You can see good spot for binoculars, sunglasses. We've got a cup holder here, 110 volt outlet down below, and then our chart storage here on this side. Uh, we do have two air conditioning units up here in the pilot house. So one is there and matching one over here on this side. Um, pretty nice and each member of the family can uh, control their temperature accordingly. And our helm here, we've got beautiful Garmin touchscreen, 12 inch display here at the helm, autopilot, our VHF radio, windless control here, the Bennett trim tabs, um, our engine display, oh, and the progressive bow and stern thrusters. This is a big part of the boat. Being able to feather these um, and not have them be a momentary bow thruster where it's either on or off is really nice. So, you know, that big noise you get when you're coming into the dock, um, you can sort of uh, adjust these as needed and feather them. They also have the hold feature. So you can hold, uh, say you're docking starboard side to the dock, I can, I can um, hold the, the the thrusters will hold the boat against the dock, you know, for light breeze and to, to aid in tying up. My windshield wiper controls, horn, uh, I mentioned the table. This is on an electric lift there, so I'll just hit that button and it drops down. And I also have, I'll show you at the end of the tour, we've got this engine hatch switch here. So mechanical space is right under the pilot house here, so I can lift this hatch up, I'll show you that. I do have a day access hatch here, and we'll go through that in a bit. Got my tank gauges here for water and waste. The uh, Fireboy fire suppression system, of course, bilge pumps, everything really easy to access, really well labeled. Huge fan of what uh, the guys at Bruckman do. The craftsmanship, this mahogany interior is absolutely gorgeous. The Harishaw finished keeps it, keeps it nice and bright. And we've got a open, uh, the salon is open to the galley down here, so letting a lot of natural light down here. And also, more importantly, uh, if you're down here making a sandwich or fixing a cup of coffee, whatever, you are still a part of the salon and really the aft cockpit. I mean, you have really nice visibility and you're not going uh, down below, quote unquote, to you know disappear into the galley. Um, so it's really nice, uh, less claustrophobic place to be. Double basin, stainless steel sink. Uh, with hot and cold pressure water. Really like this uh, waste bin here. Comes out easily. Got our drawers here. Plenty. Told you I'd mention storage a lot. We've got plenty of really deep storage. Uh, dual burner 
electric cooktop there. Got our Dometic um, microwave oven. This has a convection feature as well. Sea frost fridge and freezer. That's the controls for it. We've got a freezer here with the cold plate and then the fridge down below. Uh, just opposite the galley is my breaker panel. So I've got my DC panel up top, generator controls, and then the AC down below. I was just got an inverter, um, the Cummins own end generator has about 250 hours on it. Very light use on this boat, as you can tell. Not much to speak about in terms of wear and tear. All the handrails, varnishes, as close to perfect as you get. Very, very impressed with this boat. And the head, we've got a nice picture frame mirror here, stainless steel sink, the vacuum flush toilet, and a nice big stall shower with the clear door here. Keeping with the storage theme, we've got tons of room in here. If you're planning to do some longer term cruising, you're interested in a 40 foot vessel in the Down East Express category, this is a pretty darn good option. And forward into the primary stateroom. Plenty of storage up above. Nice hanging lockers. Starboard. And even bigger one to port. We do have an air conditioner in this stateroom as well. So there's our control for that. That's why this uh, locker is a little bit smaller. And then we've got the drawer storage down below. Nice center island berth. We've got two ventilation hatches, one forward, one aft. We've got two reading lights there. Off in this locker here, you see actually the breaker for our uh, shore power inlet, which I told you about. I'm going in here, it'd be a little dark obviously, but I've got my chain locker. And then just over here to the side, I've got the plug for the outlet there. And that's the bottom of that uh, vent, drain vent up top. We can just plug right in to shore power on the bow here. Pretty awesome. I've got access to the front of the engine here. The steps come up. Again, this hatch opens up. I've got a day hatch back here. So I'll show you this first. So this will be your you know, day access hatch for daily oil, che oil checks. Got a nice teak step ladder here. Main engine hatch here opens up. I have a switch at the helm and I've also conveniently got a switch right here. I can push that uh, really nice and easy and get full access to this mechanical space. It's just really nicely laid out down there. It's nice to be able to open this up. I don't need to move the table or anything. It's gonna clear. I'm just gonna leave that runner in place too because it'll just fold up with the hatch. Easy to get down this hatch here, but check that out. Got the aqua drive with a PSS shaft seal, dual ray cores. That's my Cummins Onan generator there. Got the um, arid dry bilge system back in the corner there, series two. Tons of space down here, really nicely laid out. Got, just had the batteries hooked up, so that's the top to the battery box that goes on here. And then I've got my water heater, the inverter charger. Really impressed with the wiring here from Bruthman. Done a nice job. Really easy access, water pump right there. Really nothing to complain about as far as accessibility on this boat. Going through the rest of the pilot house, we have both forward windows open aft. They slide on the track. I've got custom ocean air shades, which I'm a big fan of. And then my aft window opens up for ventilation underway. If you have this door closed, you can still have the window open. And one of my favorite features is this bug screen here that closes with the magnet to enclose this area, but still have it be you know, rid of bugs inside. We've got uh, bug screens up here as well. 
This is our sunshade. And then the other side uh, coming in is bug screen. So we can, on a hot summer night, and if we don't want to run the generator uh, or if we're plugged into shore power and don't want the air conditioning on, we can just have the fresh air um, open all the windows and the door and not have the mosquitoes in the boat. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour on Daybreak. If you have any questions about Daybreak, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video. Thanks for watching.